Welcome back, everybody. This is the uh, last full week of school for most kids before the winter break and Christmas. So we're squeezing in one more Science with Sarah school visit before we wrap up 2023. So this morning, Sarah Spivey and David Sears are out at Collier Elementary School. That's on the city's south side. Hey, good morning, guys. What are y'all making today? Good morning. Oh, we're, we're smoking hot today. Oh my gosh. We have been we have been moving and grooving since we came here to Collier. We are making candle powered carousels. David, did you know that this is a tr Christmas tradition for did, some cultures? I did not know that. Yeah, so you might see them. They're usually made out of wood, but we're going to make them out of uh, some household things that you can find at your home. And this is all about how heat rises. Okay, so the things you need is a lot. You need a, a lot. lot of stuff. You need two disposable uh, pie tins. And what you do is you tape this little uh, template, which I have on ksat.com, to the pie tin. And the tricky part is you want to cut along the, the solid lines. We did that. And then you want to fold along. Gotta... Great. the uh, the dotted lines there. So it, that fit in there, that folded all that. Exactly, okay. Right. See how that works? Then you need a hot glue gun. You got one of those over there. <laughs> this part is important. You wanna hot glue around a piece of a straw here so that you don't have any hot glue in the middle, which right. you did this, David. And your parents should do it for the kids because the hot glue is very hot. It I is. To that. And I would be careful when cutting this too because that can yep. easily so. Uh, easily cut you. Well, now David is at the step where you take a piece of clay. Some clay. We molded it. And you take a bamboo skewer and you put it in the middle. We cut the bamboo skewer though, right? Yep, we did a skewer. little bit. Okay. And put you it put in it in the middle. middle and you want to make sure it's straight up and down as much right. as possible. Great. Is it straight up and I down? Oh, hold on. A little off. Okay, David. Right, we and it. we're going to put your guy right on here. There you go. Now, yeah. when it's on here, you want to make sure that the fans are fanned out a little bit before you do this so that they can catch the hot air. Then you're going to take four tea lights. There you go. And it spins freely, so that's it's good. Hot air. You're going to take four. <laughs> it's not just your breath that's hot. Oh, <laughs> I'm um, and then well, using adult things. supervision, you guys, it's time for the fire. Okay? We're going to light these candles here and hope that it spins. It's already starting to spin a little bit. I'm now you may that. run into a couple of things that you need to figure out. So. You might have the stick too high. You might, or the, you might have the stick too high, or you, what you might need oh, to do oh, is oh, concentrate oh, 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 the heat to one oh, side, and then it starts to spin. So this is a great thing for you to troubleshoot too. You just want to be careful of the fire. Do we need to cut the stick? Sometimes you need to give it a little push and it'll start to go by itself. So this is a thing where guys, we're going to troubleshoot this and see if your carousels can work. Sometimes you can take the actual fire and just make it go <laughs> closer so like that. Work. So let's cut the stick down. Okay, that's an option, but watch your fingers, yeah, David. Yeah, burn yourself where you cut the stick down. I would be very careful. Okay, are you guys ready to try out your carousels yeah. here? Okay, is it okay if it doesn't work? Yeah. yeah, because we're gonna try this together. All right, coming up, we're gonna try out all these kids' carousels with some fire coming up. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Collier Elementary. We are making candle-powered carousels. Look at Micaela's. Micaela's is spinning perfectly. Why is this happening? Because heat rises. Heat rises, exactly right. So we're gonna go around and we're gonna light everybody's things. Oh, yours is working too, what's your name? Dylan. Dylan, way to go, Dylan. So why is it working, Dylan? Because heat rises. Because heat rises. Spinning so right. why does heat rise? I have no idea. Do, do we know why heat rises? It's sure. because sure. Why does heat rise? Because heat it, uh, hot air is less dense than cold air, so there it rises. Go. It has to rise up. Yeah. It has to rise up, right? Look, yours is starting to spin too. So if you're in your house and you got the heater on, is the heat at the at the ceiling or is it at the floor? It's gonna be at the ceiling, right? Go. That's awesome. What's rise. your name? Sophia. Sophia, look, that's really great. So you kind of have to bootleg it and see what works a little bit better. I wonder what would happen, Sophia, if we put all of the flames over on this side, if it would start to spin. Oh. I gave it a little push. You can give it a little push every now and then to get it going. There it goes, it got going, that's great. All right, you ready? 
Let's test this out. We'll probably want to yeah, we get you guys a little bit straighter. Yeah. Here. That's amazing. So this is a great yeah. science experiment for older older folks. Again, this is older kids, yeah, so older folks. Why, oh my why goodness. This is oh, because okay. hot air hot air rises up because hot air is more dense than cold air, so then it has to rise up. There you go. Why? Give me some of the parts that you had to put together here. And what was what was kind of the important part that uh, we had to make sure we did we did or didn't do? Maybe the candle. Came to the glue. We didn't want to get the glue. Oh yeah, on. the glue. Nah. Because this thing is just spinning, right? So we're gonna give a little help here and see if it'll keep going. So let's push this one in a little bit. How about yours? Yours working? Move the candles around a little bit. A so y'all move your candles around a little bit and see if you can get it to go. You can give it a little push. It's not gonna hurt to push it a little bit. I can get it going. Are we still lighting up some over there? Yeah, we need to light these okay, ones up for you guys. Look at your, okay. You've just been going since we lit this thing up, right? Mm -hmm. So tell me just your reaction to having this thing work. Shocked. You're shocked that it worked? Yeah. Look, it's spinning. Why? Because I thought cool? it wasn't going to work. But my, you... ha, my hypothesis was right. It was going to be correct. It was going to move. Because I moved the candles closer to the clay and it, and it forced the wind to so it can move. Thing is just spinning away. That's awesome. Okay, so I put some uh, you can give, little, give you a little, little help. Let the uh, hot little air little touch it first so it can like move that way and then it's yeah. Can Guys, is this a pretty neat experiment? All right, what do you think? Yes. Yeah. Huh? What do you think? We're gonna, is it gonna go or is it? I think it is. You think it's gonna go? Yes. Oh, it's already moving. Look Whoa, at that. Oh, look at yours. Wow, it's already moved a little bit. Hers is going great. Okay, we'll work on that. All right. Here, check this Yours out. Yours is like condensed. Yours is like a Sometimes smart. it helps to just put the flame right there next to it. There it goes. Uh, Yours is stuck? It just kind of got awesome. stuck. Awesome. The key here Give is to make tap. sure that the tap. when you See hot glue the straw, that there's Look. no hot glue in the middle, or else it won't stick. So, Look at this. Or else it will stick. Look at that. That's great, Mikhail. What do, what do, you, what do you think? Uh, I think it's going faster because, like, Heat rises, and when it rises, it like um, pushes the I don't know what to call it, the pan. It pushes the pan, and it pushes, and that's why it's moving. So when you put this all together, you basically got it all correct because it's working so well. Mm -hmm. Is that what we can we can basically. assume that you did it all right? I'm assuming that. Look at that thing go. It's going fast. It's probably some of my hot air is helping it too. <laughs> Yeah, hold, yeah, put, All right, guys. Everybody, everybody, everybody what I want you to do is I want you to wave to the camera. Again, this is a this is an experiment for older older children, and what we're going to try not to do is set off the fire alarm at this school. So we're going to blow out our candles one by one. For more fun science with Sarah experiments, you can go to ksat.com. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye.